Well, the northern U.S. border separating the U.S. from Canada is one of the longest international boundary lines. Just in New York and Pennsylvania alone, we have more than 500 miles of U.S.-Canada land and water boundary length. While most of the focus is on the southern border, some lawmakers believe a human and drug trafficking crisis is brewing here at the northern border. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp reports for us. It's not the same as the southwestern border. We know the triangle beating up there, but we do have an incredible number of people coming through that area. And they're not only bringing with them themselves and some, some others, they're also bringing drugs with them. And it's an incredible, it's an incredible assault on the northern border. A handful of congressional members representing northern border communities, including Western New York's representative Nick Langworthy, created the Northern Border Security Caucus, a group specifically created to focus on human and drug trafficking on the U.S.-Canada border. Communities in my rural Western New York district, they're already struggling. They simply cannot afford this influx and the crime that comes with it. These two charts from the Office of Field Operations, who is responsible for border security, including immigration, anti-smuggling, anti-terrorism, and more, shows the number of people who were denied entry into the U.S. or expelled to the country of last transit or home country under Title 42. On the left is FY22. The right is the current FY23 total. Comparing just the first couple of months to last fiscal years, it's safe to say numbers have skyrocketed in FY23. According to statistics by U.S. Customs and Border Protection, looking at the northern border only, CBP seized only 14 pounds of fentanyl last year, compared to 22 the year before. Members are concerned dangerous drugs are slipping through our borders, causing chaos in communities. My question is, where is the outrage? Where's the outrage, America? At the Capitol, Rachel Knapp reporting.